right, so we're staging the burns now. We are staging the burns here. So when I was an EMT on the ambulance and uh, used to uh, pick up patients and was first learning about staging and degrees of burns about nine years ago, we used to classify stages of burns. Stage one, stage two, stage three. Also note, you can also call it, you know, uh, first degree, second degree, third degree. Now there's a big push in the nursing field to call um, it only by its classification of name. So you still have, basically, they're wanting to get away from the stages and they're wanting to go to superficial, superficial partial thickness, deep partial thickness, full thickness, and deep full thickness, which I think that the stages um, make a lot more sense, but uh, let's get into it, and uh, there's still a lot of old doctors and uh, veteran nurses using the stages of it. So depending on your school, depending on your instructor, um, they might use stages as well. So for stage one, stage one is like a sunburn. Stage one just basically means uh, it's a superficial burn on the epidermis, okay? So if you guys remember from your pathophysiology days that uh, the skin has three layers in and of itself. You have your epidermis, your dermis, and then your subcutaneous tissue, the fatty portion. So if you stayed out in the sun too long, playing beach volleyball or whatever, going in a tanning bed too long, you're going to have a superficial burn. So with superficial, I want you guys to remember that it's pink. It's pink and it's very painful like a sunburn, okay? That is stage one. For your nursing care, we're not going to do a lot. We're going to put some aloe vera on it. Uh, keep the, um, you know, what do you do when you have a sunburn? Stay out of the sun, uh, you know, hydrate yourself. Uh, try to stay away from any harsh lotions, but very minimal stuff. Stage two now. Stage two, we've um, gotten a little deeper into the epidermis. Now there's a blister, almost like when you uh, touch a pan that's too hot. You pull it away, you suck on it, which is probably the worst thing to do because you have so much bacteria in your mouth, but the skin is sometimes still intact or you'll get a blister on it. So depending on which type of burn, you'll either have a superficial partial thickness. Now remember, superficial is pink. Pink, 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 pink. You burn your thumb, now it's pink and red kind of a little bit. And it has a blister. You're going to have a little bit of edema because now you've pissed off your epithelial cells and your epithelial cells uh, pretty much say, hey, we're injured now. So let's open up the mast cells that connect to the, um, the blood vessels. Let's bring a mass of uh, blood flow to the area to get us white blood cells and nutrients to fight. So that's where a lot of the edema comes from. And you've pretty much uh, excoriated, not excoriated, you've pretty much burned your epithelial cells and causes a blister, just a little fluid shift into your um, superficial uh, epithelial cells right here. So it's gonna have pain, it's gonna heal up in less than two weeks, usually a lot quicker depending on your patient's age and uh, their nutrition status and their hydration status and their medical history. You know, a young, you know, healthy uh, person is going to heal up a lot faster than an, you know, an elderly patient who's on multiple lists of medications with multiple diagnoses with, uh, you know, immune compromising steroids like prednisone and sulimedrol and COPD and adrenal disease and yeah. So <laughs> stage two is not so bad, but it really depends on your patient. So, know that. So, next one, guys, is your deep partial thickness burn. You now have damage to the entire epi 
epidermis and to the deep into the dermis. So, woo, if we have your skin right here, we have your yoink. Hold on just a sec. So you have your epidermis right here. Epi meaning the surface. You have your dermis right here underneath that. And then next you have your subcutaneous tissues and then underneath that you have your muscle. Okay? So our superficial burns get the epidermis. In our stage two we're going a little deeper into past the dermis. So whenever you hear that key word, deep partial thickness, it's deep, but it's only dermis deep. We haven't gone all the way down into the subcutaneous here yet, okay? It's deep, it's just not uh, full. Because in full, we're doing all three stages. So it's deep, second degree, it's a deeper burn. It's in the dermis now. They really can just call it a dermis burn, but um, they don't. So deep partial thickness, we're talking about red and white. Red and white skin here. So remember, your superficials are pink and red, okay? Now we're transitioning into a red and white in our deeper thickness burns, okay? Deeper partial thickness burns. Because it's partial, it's not the full, all the way epidermis, dermis, and subcutaneous. It's not the full, it's just, it's halfway there. We're on the second floor, if you can say that. We're on the dermis. So, it's going to be, uh, let's see here. It's going to be red, it's going to be white, because we're getting into that dermis area. You're going to have a little bit of edema, some uh, fluid shifts because now we're burning the skin and uh, the, the fluids are going to be shifting. It's going to be very painful and usually this comes from flame type of burns or scalding burns like really scalding water. Um, or it can come from like a grease or a tar or a chemical burn but usually we see them with a lot of flames and uh, different types of like hot water, hot oil, scalding type of burns. So, um, usually these heal in 14 to 36 days, just depending where it is and depending on your patient as well. Because if your patient's elderly and they don't have a lot of skin to protect themselves, it's going to go down really quick. So something that might, you know, just be a super partial thickness, superficial partial thickness burn to let's say a 20 year old the same type of heat the same scenario it's going to be probably a lot deeper in an elderly patient or in a pediatric patient because they don't have a lot of skin to protect themselves so let's go into our stage three full thickness burns and deep thickness burns here